friends. Welcome to Positive Power with your host, Michelle Dion. I hope you're having a fantastic summer. I can't even believe we're in the last part of July. It comes so slow, it seems to, and then it goes so fast. What the heck, eh? Anyways, it is what it is. Things we can't control, so we need to just smile, nod, and enjoy it. So I hope you are. I hope you're having a great summer, spending some time on yourself. I can't stress enough how important it is to spend some time on yourself. Get outside. I mean, you don't have to travel, right? <clears throat> wherever you live, wherever you are, maybe there's a beach you can go to. I'm sure there's a park, maybe a path, a trail, something. Get out in nature where you feel good. Kick those shoes off. Do some grounding or some earthing. You know, hang out, get back to nature. Do the stuff that feels good. Because that has been our focus the last couple weeks, hasn't it? We've been talking about focusing on your emotions. So when we look at the emotions chart, we're trying to stay in the top half. We're trying to stay in a positive emotion. It doesn't have to be love, right? Just a positive emotion. Feel hope, feel gratitude, feel something good at least 51% of the time. So that may not be um, a spot that really brings you comfort. It might be something you're not really used to. You know, we get addicted to drama, we get addicted to negativity. People who have high drama lives, it's really tough for them to make these changes. Baby steps are still steps. So it's very important that you're going in the right direction. So, you know, when times are tough, because they're gonna be, there is no being on this planet that is happy all the time. There is no being on this planet that doesn't have struggles. Because if you don't have struggles, then what's your life experience? Right? It's all experiences and lessons. So you need to have the struggles. You need to have all these things that are part of life. So like, I've been doing this for a long time. I can rebound pretty quick. But I still have my moments. Ask my daughter. Ask my family. I still have... Nicole, do not post. No, just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, I certainly have my moments. But... I freak out, I lose my crap, and then I go back and I, I just start, what am I grateful for? Xavier, Alice, Gemma, what am I grateful for? Alec, Robert, Nicole, what am I grateful for? All the members that come and listen to me speak, what am I grateful for? All the viewers, all of you, I'm grateful for you. I don't know if you know, you are a big part of my gratitudes all the time. So I, just like everyone else, even though I've been doing it for a long time, so I can come back fairly quickly, but it took a lot of practice to do that. So you're gonna have times where you need a good cry. Go cry. It is totally okay, and male or female, you know, unfortunately men had, depending on what era you're from, but from my age, um, they were raised that they shouldn't cry. Go cry, go freak out. It's okay to have those emotions. You have to let them run out of your system, you really do. You hold them in, you're gonna have all sorts of issues. You're gonna have physical issues, you have mental issues, all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> Be like Frozen, just let it go. But get it out of your system first. This is where working out and that sort of stuff is really good, very healthy. Because it helps you work out all sorts of different things. But if you don't work out, go freak out. That's okay. Go do something where you can get the aggression out. Go yell. It's okay. The thing is, freaking out is fine. Staying there is not. Because what happens is, is let's say today I'm having a day where I feel angry. So I have two choices. So I'm angry now. Say somebody really just set me off and I'm in a mood and I should have had a nap and I didn't. Naps are way, oh man, we love naps as we get older. Hey, our whole thinking's changed. My granddaughter Alice, three years old, not a fan of naps, but Nana likes her naps, I'll tell you. Anyways, so let's say something set me off and I got really, really angry. I have two choices. I can identify what made me angry and deal with it or own it or just accept the fact that I can't change it or I can spend all day holding on to that and finding things to justify my anger. So I'm angry. And somebody cut me off, say hypothetically, and now I'm angry because they cut me off. So I can either be like, buddy, I think you're a real whatever, you know, having that conversation that we have with people that aren't there. 
and I can just deal with it. And like, I don't know what your thing is, but you're lucky I'm a good driver and I didn't hit you. See, I can change that thinking or I can hold on to that anger and now I'm going to blame them for every red light. Now I'm going to blame them for everything else that went wrong for the rest of the day. So see that shift? See how we do that? So you need to take your power back. It's okay. You're going to have days. You're going to have moments. But the more you do it, the more you do it, the more it'll feel more natural. The more, like, you know, people talk to me and I people send me messages that I know and I don't know. And they'll be like, I'm going through this. I don't know, blah, whatever. And so as an outsider looking in, first of all, it's easier because I'm not emotionally attached. But the other thing is too, is it's very easy for me to find the positive because I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been doing this for a long time. So as you keep doing it, don't give up. Don't say, I just can't do it. Yeah, yeah, you can. It just takes practice. Like anything worth having, it's going to take some effort. It's going to take some practice. And you're not going to change overnight. You know, we're creatures of habit. We all run a program. Every day you have your things that you do. Every day. I get up. I go to the bathroom. I jump in the car. I drive out to work. That's our thing that we do. We're a one car family. So um, off he goes. And I have my coffee. Da, 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 da. If I never made any changes, how would my life change? So somewhere in there, in your thinking, in, in your activities, in whatever you're doing, you need to make some changes, and I promise you, your life is going to change. So there you go. That's your message for this week. I want you to accept yourself as you are. Accept that there's going to be times where you just feel sad. There's going to be times where you should go for a nap. There's nothing wrong with going for a nap and resetting yourself. Go meditate. Reset yourself. If you're interested in meditating and you're not really sure, you know, whatever, you can join me at Mystic Mind on Wednesday, 6 o'clock, or send me a Facebook message. I'll send you a meditation. They're guided. You're listening to a story. You don't have to put effort into clearing your mind. Just listen. Just listen. And also, before I go, um, I just want to cheer you on and tell you, good job, I'm sure you're doing, with these words that we're changing, right? We're doing that too. So um, for the rest of your life, ideally, we're not going to use the words hate and stupid anymore. And we're adding in fabulous and amazing. So keep up the good work. You're absolutely fabulous and you're doing an amazing job. So don't forget how awesome you are. I love meeting with you every week. Thank you for your support in all the stuff that I do. You know, I have more and more listeners on my online radio show, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Sandy and I are having a riot every Sunday night on our live podcast and we do Facebook Live um, from 7 to 9 and so we appreciate your support so just know you know you are my gratitude whenever I'm feeling down and I'm having a moment and maybe I'm tired maybe I'm angry whatever I appreciate everything that you do for me so I hope you know that and I hope you know how awesome I truly think you are have a great week we'll do this again next week